Hi, my name is Lieutenant Gary Aswalt, and welcome to a tour of the good World at War remake, Dome. Dome takes place in Berlin during the war. You know which one. And saying that it's on the smaller side would kind of be like saying that people who think their star sign is a personality are only slightly the most annoying type of person. If you're a fan of the map from your glory days in 2008, then you'll be pleased to know that it more or less has remained the same, other than a few newly accessible areas and a number of sightlines that just come with a little disassembly required. Dome's layout is split into two distinct halves, the inside and outside of the government building. The outside is decently open, made up of steps leading past whatever these are statues of, with a lower deck that you can sprint through as a quick flank route or as a way of catching people AFK. Contrasting perfectly with the inside of the building, which is made up of two balconies on either side with a small sub-building in the center and a gaping hole in the back, creating a near perfect mirror which coincidentally is what I call the funhouse mirror I got installed in my bathroom so I don't have to face me how the rest of the world does. It's this interior that serves as a proverbial sorting hat for players in that you're either the guy on top of these balconies shooting down at the poor unlucky saps who are stupid enough to join a game on Dome, or you're me. On our last tour, almost every single comment was asking us to do Dome next, and that was to be expected, because Dome is the most inclusive map in Call of Duty history. I mean, do you want to use a shotgun? Well, you have plenty of room to run around in the center. AR or SMG guy? For once in your life, try going outside. Going for sniper camos? Try our luxurious balconies. Using an LMG? Why? Now, let's take a look at some callouts for the map. Open nothingness, pipes, balcony one, balcony two, melted steel beam, the portico, house inside the house, out of bounds, the only spot safe from air support, and smoking hole where my self-respect used to be. And that's where I'll end today's tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe and consider becoming a channel member to get these videos a little bit early. Like Gordorokos, Aiju Kraya, Sacred Moose, and Shane M. Now, if everyone will please exit through the gift shop, we just got in a new shipment of iHeart Dome t-shirts. Ow, man, those are the those are the wrong ones.